Hey YouTube, we're doing a quick little pro tip here on feeding your livestock if you don't have a feeder. I built a different one in the other goat house, which I'll show you after I show you this one. And being today I was uh, setting up this area here for our male goat, Kimberly thought it'd be a great idea to uh, put this up as a video. So if you don't have a feeder for uh, putting hay in or anything like that, uh, a, a quick and easy thing that you can do is uh, just if you have a skid sitting around, it uh, doesn't have to be necessarily this type, any type of skid works. Um, they have your grills on the front with little spaces and typically the back of them are pretty open. And what I like to do is just put this up, screw it into place and uh, voila, you have your own feeder. And uh, I'll quickly show you how this one's going to work out once I screw it into place. And there you have it. Within five minutes, you have a feeder set up for your livestock. Uh, with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the fronts here uh, just as it is. They can always reach in here, pull the hay out uh, or from the sides, and it would be easy, it's gonna be easy for me to put hay in because I have the spacing on the walls of this um, woodshed. I can always just go from the outside, shove the hay in, and then I don't have to disturb uh, William is what we call him, our male goat. Um, and then he can get his uh, hay, feed himself whenever he needs, and it's very expensive. Uh, let's head over to the um, other goat shed and I'll show you the other feeder that I built. All right, we're now in our original goat house here. And this is the first feeder that I put in. As you can see, the um, the, the wall here doesn't have as big of a gap in the walls so that I can shove hay from the outside. And also I put up sheet metal here just to protect the uh, goats from the wind and it would be inaccessible. So again, I used another uh, skid. This one was a little bit uh, more run down. It has bigger gaps uh, like than the other one did. But what I had to do with this one is I had to put a couple pieces of 2x4 uh, along the walls and then um, a couple more 2x4s off the sides just to uh, have the feeder on an angle. That way I can shove the hay in here and that it's not spilling out the bottom. And it's on probably what I would say is, uh, I don't know, a 60 degree bend or angle. Um, and it's pretty solid. I screwed it on both sides. Obviously this side here is screwed into the wall itself and uh, it's been sitting here for uh, all summer and uh, holding strong. So hopefully this gave you some uh, good tap tips on your homestead, your farm, or wherever you are feeding your livestock. I'll see you in the next one.